I probably should not have my ring on, I just realized, as I smeared oil pastels on it. Uh, I'm gonna take you to Lady Aethera here, and in today's video we'll be opening a scrolly box. This is the latest box that I have. You can get a little bit of a sneak peek because of the postal service, <laughs> but I have done my best to not look as tempting as it is. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this box. Alrighty, I almost forgot I don't need the cat knife for this box because it has a pull tab. Alrighty, let's see. I'm gonna put it over here so I don't block the camera. Do, 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 do. Okay, so first thing I see is a teal eraser. Artist, a Derwent artist eraser. High performance, not abrasive eraser. Erasing. Cool. Alright. We got our little package. And our scrawler zine. And ooh, our paper for the month. Oh, this is our print. Nice. Okay. We have some A5 drawing paper, smooth white tin sheets. It's 250 GSM. This is our art print. It's pretty funky and fun. Let's see. The featured artist is Julie Avasar. She was born in London, but is now based in Israel. She's a landscape artist. Um, her socials are at Julie Avisar, and she has a website, or Julie.Avisar, and her website is JulieAvisar.com. So if you want to check her out, if you like her style. All right, and we'll set aside the paper and our scrawler zine so we don't get any sneak peeks. All righty, let's get into this. I feel like Scrawler Box isn't usually wrapped in tissue paper, but let's see. Oh, I can see our sticker. Ooh, like usual, it's part of the print. I like to try to find what piece it is. Hmm. Ooh, I think it's up here. Yeah, it's right here. Nice. Ooh, our scrawler challenge for this month is where rivers flow. Hmm. And this is the August box. It is a month behind because it comes from the UK. Oop, I don't want to look at the supplies yet. Ooh, okay. So our candy is a spearmint chew. That should be pretty pretty nice. I like mint. Um, hmm. Okay, so we've got a 5B pencil. So this will be pretty dark and soft. Um, a wooden tool that I'd usually associate with like nails because it's got this flat, flat pointy edge and then a rounded pointy edge. And then, um, I know what these are called, but <laughs> I can't think of it right now. Um, but it's like for blend a blending stump. Yeah, paper blending stump with two ends. And then artist oil pastels from Cinelier, I guess. And it comes with some paper samples. Um, that are good for oil pastels. Interesting. Okay. So this box will be a little bit messy. If I had to guess, the wood tool is to go in and scrape away the pastels. Like how these little pink lines are in the print. But that's just a guess. 
Let's look at the menu and then through the scrawler zine. So yes, we've got our oil pastels in colors white, black, yellow gold, yellow ochre, charcoal blue, and light green. Highly pigmented, artist grade oil pastels. Da -da -da -da. Good for texture. Apply direct directly to your surface or blending with your fingers, even mixed and applied with a brush or a cloth. The possibilities are endless. Be prepared to get messy with these pastels and don't be afraid to get stuck in. Interesting. Then we have our Stadler Lumograph 5B pencil. The Derwent Artist Eraser. It's an ideal pairing with the 5B pencil. It's great at removing and absorbing darker and denser strokes of graphite. It also easily erases soft colored pencil. It is made from non-toxic and latex free ingredients. Okay, cool. Then we've got our wooden stylus scratcher and a double-ended blending stump. Also our paper, cannot forget our paper. Apparently it is perfect for oil pastels. All right. And again, our challenge is where rivers flow. So I have to start thinking about what we're going to do with that. So we got our nice spread for all of, all of the supplies. Get blending, drawing paper, high dark marks, sweet treat, sticker, layer up, buy dark marks, soft pastel, high pigment. Yep, scratch away, scratch into your work to create some fun textures and reveal the colors laid down below. And here's some more information about the artist and some more of her work. I like the bright bold colors and um, the complementary and contrasting colors she uses. They also have some suggestions for how to use these supplies and some advice from the artist. Ooh, there's also some featured folks from the neon um, Pintar box. This is the one I drew a macaw for in neon colors. Yeah, definitely compared to a lot of these, mine was pretty simple. Um, these are really nice though. I'll have to go in and follow some of these folks. And then a whole conversation about the magic of oil pastels. Cool. Oh, these are thick. These are some very thick pieces of paper. Um, I think there's only five sheets. Two, three, four. Yeah. I thought it was more because of how thick it is. And these are 340 GSM. So we'll test the pastels both on these sheets and on the paper that was separately packed in the box. Yeah, this paper, there this one has a little bit more tooth to it. This one isn't as thick. It makes different noises. Um, but it's a lot smoother, so we'll see if that makes a difference. Oh, interesting. Okay. So this does have some texture show through. This eraser does work pretty well, but it's very dusty. <sighs> 
So it seems like using the blending stump will smooth out that texture on this paper, which helps. But I do feel like the colors don't blend as well on this paper, so we might use the larger smooth paper. Coastal wildflower vibes. Ooh, okay. Let's do the scrapey scrape. I think the scraping works better on the smooth paper too. Let's try the like layering and scraping the color away thing too. Also, this is a good test of how well they layer. Hey, I mean, they do pretty good because they're so soft. They end up very opaque. Yeah, everything seems to not work as well on this paper so far. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think I'll be using this paper. We can use this one to keep our tools fairly clean though. Okay, that said, what the heck am I drawing? It blends pretty nice. Um, so when I think where rivers flow, I think about the destination of the river, which generally would be the ocean, right? So I'm thinking I might do like a coral reef kind of situation, but not stress too much about the details since these are so soft. I can't make everything really sharp and specific. So it would have to be kind of the suggestion of a coral reef. We don't have a pink, which is usually pretty important, but I think we can work around that. Okay, so I'm going to sketch out my general idea. And then we'll use a clean sheet of paper to actually do it. So assuming this is our paper, because we're going to use it in um, landscape. Up here would be like the water surface with like some sunbeams coming down and in the background we'd have some coral and fish and stuff that you could see in the in the distance and like this desaturated um, blue and kind of black combination and then up at the front we'd have some little bits of coral just kind of sprinkled about in the foreground and you see like hints of fish so that's the idea okay. so I'm actually going to start with the teal color what is it light green they're calling it but it's really a teal and then i'll put the darker blue um on top of it i'm also going to add some white and until this is close to done it's probably going to look really rough so just stick with me and we'll see if i can 
get my vision onto the paper or not. These are very messy to work with. It, it feels very strange on my fingers. They're like oily but thick. I probably should not have my ring on, I just realized as I smeared oil pastels on it. Uh, I'm gonna take it off. Um, they're a lot softer than crayons. Um, like you can just kind of squeeze them. Um, and they're, they mush and you can blend them together. Like I was using a palette knife to blend them. You can kind of scrape them up. Yeah, they're interesting. Um, I don't know if they ever like set fully, so I'm not sure what you do once you make something with them. But they're interesting to work with, that's for sure. I 
really wish I had a pink. Um, I think that's what this is missing, because a lot of coral is like pinky, magenta kind of tones, and like reds, but I don't have that. So I think I'm going to consider this one done. This is where it's at. And also where my hands are. So I'm going to set this aside, y'all, and this may or may not make it into the video, depending on how this comes out. I'm just going to play with these now, now that we've done the prompt. So what do I want to do? Alright, so this has been a very interesting box. I haven't really played with nice oil pastels before. I've kind of dabbled with some cheap ones. This was definitely a different experience. Um, for the prompt where the rivers flow, or where rivers flow, 
I did this piece. I actually quite like how it came out. I think the um, sunbeams coming through the water are pretty cool. And then just for a bit of play, I also ended up making this. Nothing incredible by any means, but it was a good time. Um, if you liked this video, don't forget to actually like the video. Um, you can find my other social media down in the description. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and that you don't forget to stay charming. Goodbye.